Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now, in the last tutorial and in the previous tutorials, we kind of used uh, some array operations and all. Array operations and uh, we calculated some, uh, we calculated the Fibonacci series and we kind of played around with it. And in the last tutorial, we uh, looked at some format specifications to write and, I mean the simple format specifications to write and read from write into files and read data from files. Okay, in this tutorial, we will be looking into more of arrays using trigonometric, uh, I mean more of arrays and we will be doing some array operations and all. Okay, and uh, and for to give an explanation for that, to give a, get an example for that, uh, I mean sorry, to have an example for that, we will be trying to uh, verify the trigonometric identities here. Now, most of you guys who know, tr most of you guys must know, be knowing the trigonometric equations here. And uh, this is actually sine square x of plus cos square x equals 1, secant square x minus tan square x equals 1, and cosecant square x minus tan cos square x equals 1. Now, in, the, in our uh, program, we will be calculating these values and then we will be trying to prove them, prove these identities right. Okay, for that, first we, what we need is that we need a real number, real number, and uh, instead of making it allocatable, we'll make it sta we'll make it static to this time, so that we c you know we know how many things are going on. So before that, I need an integer, integer, uh, and this has to be uh, I need an uh, increment, incremental integer i, and then an integer and the value n. And this n has to be, to start with, I'm setting this to be, uh, let's say, 100. They're setting this to be 100. Okay? Now, uh, uh, yeah. Now, what I need is a real number, is, is a real, real array, which has three values, which has some values like x, sine x, y i mean cos x okay secant x uh, uh, tan x okay cosecant x and then cortex okay the all of them are uh, dimensional dimensions and specifically I didn't mention this in the last two tutorials regarding arrays. In, in this tutorial, in this uh, in this tutorial, I'll mention that you can change the indices of the arrays. By default, Fortran arrays take one as the beginning index, but in uh, in Fort uh, in Fortran, uh, you have the permission or the allowance or the license to you know change the indices. Uh, now for this program. I'm making the indices to be from the varying from 0 to 0 to n, meaning these arrays will be each of them will have about 101 real values. And uh, for accuracy reasons, I make this kind I make this real real arrays to have uh, I make these arrays of kind 8, wherein these are real num real arrays which store uh, 8 up to 8 values, sorry up to 8 bytes. I mean to store each value takes eight by uh, eight into uh, eight bytes of memory. Okay, now uh, I just keep the line break on and the indentation type is spaces though, so that is fine. So I just put an and and bring this to the other line. Okay. Okay. Now this being done, now I need what what all do I need? Yeah, I need this the value of pi for this. What I can do is that I can type perimeter, sorry, parameter to bring a constant, to bring a constant, and I can write pi to be, uh, okay, sorry, this has to be a double colon, pi to be, uh, you know, 3.14159 something, okay, but this can be done but I prefer or else you can write up to 15 decimals of accuracy otherwise there is a simple way which I kind of uh, which I found it interesting so what I do is that uh, you know I can write 2 into a 
sine 2 into a sine of 1.0 now what does this do is that si uh, si I mean a sine finds the a sine finds the inverse inverse trigonom it's the inverse inverse trigonometric function that finds the angle. Now, we know that sine ninety degrees is one, okay? Which is the ninety degrees is actually pi by two radians. So a sine will give us pi by two. A sine of one will give us pi by two radians. And if we multiply by two, we'll get the value of pi. So we'll be using pi here as it is. And since we I want we want pi to be a parameter or a constant throughout this function, we use the parameter keyword. And now let's calculate x. Now uh, do uh, uh, okay. I just need one more real uh, equals real. Uh, this is an increment. Increment. E this sh this should be equal to two. Uh, okay. I'll set. I'll define it here. Increment equals two into pi divided by uh uh you know real of n okay so uh real of n uh so the real of n so fine this will do what it what what it does is it just cal it just calculates each and it just finds an increment to <coughs> Sorry, it just uh, divides the entire pi uh, entire range to from zero to two pi into n equals uh, n equal segments. Now, what I do for, for before we find the value of sine x, cos x, secant x, tan x, uh, cosecant x, and cortex, we need to we need a do statement to set the value of x. Now, do uh, i equals zero to n, okay, and I end do here and uh, x of i will be equal will be equal to will be equal to uh, i into uh, increment okay this will be i into increment now this be this being done okay uh, this what it does is it will calculate the value of x for each and every each and uh, for each and every time until the last increment and all and this will this will be taken care of okay and now finally uh, not finally we will look at uh, we'll calculate sin x sin x is actually can be calculated very simply it is nothing but the sine function of x so instead of doing a do loop wherein i have to p instead of passing a do loop wherein you know sin x of i instead of sin x of i equals sin of x of i like this okay wherein i have to run a do loop and calculate the value of sin x of i uh, 101 times at each and every point all i can do uh, no all i can do is that you know the, the I'll avoid insert this. This is, this is actually a four way. Yes, damn it, the key. This is actually poor implementation. This is actually a poor implementation. And instead of that, we can use the inbuilt intrinsic function also. This does not, this will take care of, you know, sine function, cos function, tan function, and all. I mean, I mean this this kind of method will calculate for all of it, and it, it just, all it has to do the sine function has to be uh, the var value that we put in has to be an array, even if it's a single value, it doesn't matter. Though that's this this is one of the array, simplest array operations that can be done. And for cos x, what uh, cos x what you can do is just type cos of x, as simple as that. For tan x, okay, all you can do is that we can either use tan tan of x okay which is perfectly valid okay so i just which i'll just write this as also valid okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to comment this out i'm going to write tan x tan x equals sin x by cos x okay and now this being said now 
we can also find you know, cosec uh, cosec and uh, like I think you can find sec and x and I think there are little I think you don't uh, I think if you were, were to slightly modify the contents or check in the internet we will position to find the sec and x tan sec and x cosec and x in cortex but we will stick to our basic trigonometry now cosec and x cosec and x is equal to 1 the 1.0 divided by sin x sin x okay that's all you need either i don't have to put in a loop and do that again this is sufficient and then car uh, sec and x sec and x okay equals 1.0 di 1.0 divided by uh, uh, cos x x and then cot x equals 1.0 divided by tan x as simple as that now let's take care of the let's take care of the identities uh, now for this let's now uh, before we do before we do all this let's let's compare how the values looks like so do i equals 0 to n n uh, and do okay now let's print it print uh, I'll give a format say 15 15 uh, I comma uh, sorry x of i comma y uh, sin x of i okay and here we will define the format you can define in the loop also but instead of defining the format each and every time 101 times in this loop since n is 100 ok we we'll just define it once outside format and that uh, let's open let's uh, open this up and it's going to be an inti it's going to be an integer sorry this is going to be a float ok and, uh, the sign of okay and uh, uh, this is going to be an f uh, with up to let's say let's give a value of up to say uh, like say eight 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 fields no let's give it ten fields with four decimal places you know okay uh, the sign of this value is we give a call and give a space and then write f uh, 10.4 this will do okay let's print this out all the values now let me do this here we just click ls we have this trigger trigger underscore, underscore iron dot f90 now g4 tran okay and then trig 90 trig underscore f9 f90 then minus o and then trig okay you don't need an exec you don't need a dot ex uh, extension also this will also work just click enter uh, okay it should have a constant shape huh it should have a constant shape Hmm. The n can uh, okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, now I get it. Uh, what it's saying is that n is kind of a variable, but it should not change with respect to you know, res respect to you know the change conditions. So what I do is that I just change this. You know, reduce this up integer parameter and then click n hopefully if uh, if my hunch is right uh, it should work yeah it works and if i were to 
look this up now we get a function called we get an executable called as uh, trig we just open this up yeah perfect yeah perfect it just calculates all the values of trigonometric function and the hundred values hundred values per nice nice and nice and smooth nice and sound now uh, this doesn't make a proper sense to us so what we'll do is that we'll use this pi and convert this into radians and have a look at it okay now instead of this xi what I'll do is that I divide I, di I divide this by pi okay In, while printing the values I divide this by pi and multiply this by 360 now if this uh, uh, and we might have to add a add a const add a little addition here okay so to make to represent this degrees this conversion will print it in degrees so I just run this file again no problem and uh, if I were to execute this execute this click enter yeah it it works it works fine it works fine okay uh, okay I just forgot just a small correction this is not this should not be 360 this should be 180 because the degrees and the angle convert degrees and radians of the degree conversion says that it should be 180 okay so no problem we'll just figure the, we'll just click this out again say run this run this again yeah now it's now it's working fine perfect okay now what now what we can do is that we just gave only four uh, let's see do, do we did we read anything no this is this is fine this 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 will work out fine now our sign function is perfect because we can see in the sign function value it starts from zero it, the sign function is uh, it's like a function that goes up the reaches zero and then goes negative reaches a positive value reaches a negative one and then goes back to zero between zero and uh, between zero and uh, you know 360. Now, now because of uh, even split even split up, the angles are proper here. The angles are proper here, so it, it, uh, we have lot. This is good for us. Okay. Now, if you look at the values, they are continuously and constantly increasing. They reach a hit. They reach at the maximum uh, maximum value of one at sine 90, which is perfect. And then they start decreasing. And when your angle reaches 180. 180 the value is 0 well, ignore the negative sign because it might not be in a position when it didn't ignore the negative sign this value matters more and then and then it, when it, it continuously decreases and reaches the minimum value of minus 1 and when the angle is at 270 degrees and finally when it reaches 360 it reaches 0 again so as simple as that the values turn out to be perfect the value just turned out to be perfect now I'll stop this video here in in the next in the next tutorial next video we'll cag we'll uh, continue with these we'll continue we'll continue with these i'll remove this i'll just comment out this print statement and uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll in the same way we'll calculate these values and print them uh, and uh, you know and uh, we'll check these trigonometric uh, we'll check these trigonometric identities uh, similarly okay thank you guys for watching then please do subscribe and see you guys later